hello, good day. Uh, thank you for checking in to our Python Programming Essentials lecture series. So today we're going to discuss about the object-oriented programming in Python. Okay, let's start. So this module we will cover topics on object-oriented programming, which are the core of Python programming. The object-oriented approach is an evolution of good design practices that go back to the very beginning of computer programming. Okay, so these are good programming practices. Uh, these are very important approach that is present in most computer applications because it allows programmers to create entities that represent real-life objects. Further, object-oriented enables programmers to model objects into interactions in order to solve real-life problems in an efficient, comfortable, extendable, and well-structured manner. So take note of the keyword we do have here. The class is an efficient, comfortable, extendable, and well-structured manner. So meaning the class allow us to efficiently uh, reuse the setup of codes or algorithms where it will allow us, uh, it will give comfort in programming. Extendable allow us to reuse by simply creating objects or calling out objects, uh, calling out functions and methods within the class in a well and structured manner. Okay, so later we're going to have uh, a class uh, just prepare a student so this is very important approach in okay so this done already continue okay so consider that the text you're reading right now was created in an object-oriented based web browser so these are other applications like this one powerpoint uh, represent collections of items that follow the same principle of object-oriented programming. So by learning OOP, we need to have a common understanding and definition of the following terms. So class. So when we say class, it is actually a concept, an idea, a blueprint, or a recipe for an instance. Okay, or a real object, a real life object. An instance is the process of instantiating a class. So frequently used interchangeably with the term object. But there's a distinction between instance and object. The object is the Python representation of data and methods. And objects could be collections of instances. So when we say we, we create an object, so the process of creating an object is simply instantiation. But when we try to discuss or describe object, object is an instance of the class. Okay? Continue. So attribute are a, any object or class attribute could be a variable or a method so it can be a method within the class or simply a function within the object a method is a function created within the class and executed on behalf of the class or object some say that it's a callable attribute of the class so the type refers to the class that was used to instantiate the object. So when we say method, so we try to create a class here. Then we try to define. So in it, okay, this is the good thing about PyCharm. Automatically, it has the features of intelligent sensing. So automatically, it gives you a format. So we have the self, then. We have an attribute, so let's try to add an attribute to the student. Say course, a year, then gender. 
Kasi we need to have a gender sensitive na learning content. So instead of utilizing sex, we use gender. So now, these are attributes of our class. So sub course, course, then the same. We just follow. Okay, so then mm -hmm. gender false gender. So now we do have here an attribute of our class student. Okay, so you notice guys here as we type in PyCharm automatically siya, nag indent Okay, it should follow. So meaning the rest of the codes here lies within the scope uh, initialization while the rest of these codes here is another uh, set of codes or another black of codes in our python in our python or pycharm okay we continue because an object is highly beneficial to synthesis of all the terms mentioned above it is a standalone instance of a class that stores and aggregate some specific and valuable data and attributes applicable to individual objects. It owns and distributes the techniques for carrying out actions. So an object, standalone ng siya talaga guys. So later we'll, we'll continue uh, writing the codes then later we can, we need to declare muna, we need to create the basic structure of a class then later in our lesson two, we're going to discuss deeper when creating an instance or object of a class. So let's focus on the class. The class is a blueprint or recipe for an instance that expresses an idea. The class is a virtual object that can hold a variety of information. And there is always one class of each type. So, to give you an analogy, think of a class as a building blueprint that represents the architect's ideas and class instances as the actual structures. Classes combine attributes and functionality states to express an idea as exactly as possible. Okay, so it's, later we're going to think about student. Yeah. So you can create a class from scratch or utilize inheritance to create more specialized class based on another class which is more interesting and helpful. So we can actually extend the from one class to another class. We can actually extend the attributes of one class to another class or create a super class and what we call subclasses for the newly created class so this is the basic structure of a python so the class mechanism python adds classes with the least amount of new syntax and semantics so let's continue here so we have an example dense so this is the good thing about pycharm learning python is makes so easy kasi nandun na yung auto intelligent sense then try to create another function here automatic na agad pumapasok sa sub then return kasi we're going, we're going to call this function it will try to return this statement okay I love python programming Siyempre, kasi you need to pass. Kaya I love Python. <laughs> okay, so these are the functions. Uh, these are the methods created inside our class, which later we can call this as functions. Kasi interchangeably, ano, minsan nalilito na, tayo sa definition ng method and function. Okay, so here now, we actually creating an object. So this is this gen is actually an object of the class student. And we can observe that the class yun 
we will notice case the student requires three parameters here the course the year and the gender so we're going to type in the course into BSIT then the year say third year the gender say masculine okay then we have Mary student so we follow the same attribute so I guess we just need to change the course to be third year as well then gender say feminine yeah then we can also have Peter Parker course say he's an education student year also third year gender but this is a second year course asking what about gay yeah it's gay out bye ah, i just go with masculine masculine Okay, so let's try to check if there's an output to this kit. Press. Okay, sir, wala pong output. Kasi, if we try to review the codes, we simply create a class. Yes, we have created a class. We have created an object. But, we have not yet created a code that would actually call the object to perform based on the particular function or method within the class okay so in the code above we have defined a class named student consisting of some functionalities and attributes a class is a place which binds data with code okay so there are no visible effects but there is no code because there is no code making use of it that's why we, don't, we see no effects to this but when we add john to perform we call john the object john then the method inside the class perform it will issue the command i love python programming okay let's just try to check okay good there it goes so we were able to create a new instance of the class called object which we will discuss in lesson 2 so that is how we create a class in python okay so see how it is how easy it is to create a class within python I create an object the class then instantiate it by calling the method or function within the class okay so i guess that's it and advice you guys keep on practicing rest if you must but don't check it so good day and thank you for checking into our python programming essentials lecture series so don't forget to like uh, leave a positive comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you and good day. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a positive comment, like, share, and subscribe.